Yeah. That guy got me again, dude. Got me in there the first time, got me in there the second time. Okay, ow, don't... Okay, we're in lava, we're in lava. Run, 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 run. Get out. Gotta be careful, man. You gotta look at the lava to see when it's coming out. Because it does like a little splash animation before it shoots. Anyway, uh... I wonder if we can do this. I don't know if you need any extra technology or not. Probably not. Okay, we, we got in here, yeah? Okay, yeah, I know this. These guys actually, uh, the, the, the floor here disintegrates. So you gotta use these guys to jump. Energy tank! Yay yay! Sweet! Missile tank! Yay yay! <laughs> Sweet! And I think actually, um... There might be something down there. Either that or it's just lava. I'm just gonna die. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, I'm burning. I'm burning. Oh, the door's not even open. I'm like, why can't I access the next room? So there, we got that energy tank. That was pretty cool. Uh, I think there's one more in this section. Or not in this section, but in this sector. Over by the, the first part, wherever it was really hot and we couldn't do anything about it. Before. Oh, get a life. You too. Although, I don't know if we can actually climb back here. Uh, climb our way through here. We have to go up and over again. Which is annoying, but hey, what can you do? Through here. Y'all remember we were here before. I don't think we could have got past this guy before either. There we go. Uh, and then back to the main room and to the right, or to the left rather. Those guys used to be green too. You know those uh, those things that pop out of Ridley's chest? Or Ripley? I call it Ridley, I don't know why. It's Ripley. Um, Sigourney Weaver's character in, um, in Aliens, Aliens's. Well, I don't think they actually infect her, do they? Hmm. I don't remember. I haven't seen the Aliens series in a long time. Ooh, close to that fire. We got this. I'm certain there's a sec section here. Yep. Yep, here we go. Uh, you do need speed boost, I think. For that. Yep. Shine spark, rather. So, we can do it. Kind of bad at shine sparking, but here's hoping for the best. And it, we got the best. Come on. I think you can just shoot, yeah. You can just shoot. There we go. Energy tank. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I think that might actually be the full row of energy tanks. Actually, uh... I say actually a lot, don't I? I don't know why. I just have a tendency to do that. Shine spark, damn it. Yes! Yes! We did it. <laughs> Love it. That's one of my favorite things to do. I was always bad at it in Super Metroid, but it was always awesome that you could do that. You could go diagonally and stuff too, which is really cool. Uh, where are we now? 
We're in the main room. We got everything we need out of here, I think. So uh, now we just got to get out and be like, hey, guy, we turned off the we turned on the cooling unit. The air conditioning's back to normal. Everything's fine. We're going to have a good day. No more superheated boiler room. Uh, definitely want to save after that fiasco. They give you a decent amount of time, dude. Like six minutes is a long time. You could probably get it done in three if you don't dick about with like trying to find other rooms. But uh, I think they should have just give you like five minutes or four. The X mimics the crew member. It all makes sense now. They can absorb the memories and knowledge of their prey. What an astounding find. HQ was very impressed. But don't you find it strange? This could have destroyed the station with the X in it. Not to mention the SAX. Unusual for a self-preserving species, unless your presence is an even greater threat. You're damn right. Uh, a threat to the existence of X elsewhere. This is only a hypothesis, but perhaps their survival instinct is in conflict with their newly borrowed intelligence. Don't let your guard down yet. Their sole threat, of course they are. I see bio signs on the habitation deck. Survivors? The infected crewman you saw had survived until recently. Ah, okay. Maybe there's a chance the signs emanated from here. Okay. We gotta go look for survivors now. Okay. We can do that. We can do that really easy. But honestly, do you think there are any survivors after all this crap's been going on? I don't know. We'll try. I don't think there will be, but we can still try. Um, I think maybe what I'll do... I'm thinking about it now because we have some certain abilities. We can actually go down into different sectors and explore a little bit and try and get more secrets. I think what I'll do is I'll wait till the end of... Uh, till the end of the... Um, uh, what is it called? Until until we're almost done with the game to go back and look for secrets, you know? Oh, I could have just done that, couldn't I? Which leads me to ask the question, is there a thing where you can shine spark through here? If there is, I probably want to try it. I don't think there is. Anyway, um, to go look for secrets like at a later time. So now what? We need to go up there? We can do that. No props. Oh yeah, anyway, now that we have the various suit, we can go in here. To the Sub-Zero containment room. Dun 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 dun! Dun dun dun! That's right, man. They have Ridley preserved in ice. Those bastards. They just can't learn. They don't learn. You can't have this shit and, like, try and clone it to use for your own devices, you know? They just never learn. But they preserve really in ice. So that's kind of shitty. I don't... Oh, I don't need to talk to you. Leave me alone. No! <laughs> I like how I say no and it still tells me what to do. Uh, where am I now? Okay, I guess we head up. We hit up. We hit him up. Oops. Up through here. Can't go in there, though. That requires power bombs. Those big gelatinous orbs blocking the path. Gelatinous. <laughs> Ooh, they, that was Chris Jericho. He used to call people gelatinous tapeworms. You sycophantic gelatinous tapeworms. It's like, what a jerk. Something in there. I always check those save rooms, but I think they make it obvious if there's ever a secret. They, uh, they will just, um, put a crack in the wall. Can't go in here. A missile pack in there, though. Uh, I think this part actually, uh, fucking there I go saying actually again. <laughs> <laughs> I think this part requires a certain amount of uh, a trial and error over here because there's these sections here 
that you can blow up. And you have to pick the right one. And if you pick the wrong one, you're liable to, uh, to screw up. There we go, we got that. Um, I don't think that's what we really wanted to do, though. What we need to do is get up to that habitation pad, pod or whatever. And as you obviously saw, they're not human. They're little creatures. They're little furry friends from uh, Super Metroid. Come on, spawn, you thing. Damn it. Damn it. Gotta sit here and wait for you to thaw out. It's like I'm waiting for my dinner to thaw. <laughs> so you can cook it, you know. You know what I mean. Uh, oh, you know what? I think we need to actually go up. You know what I mean? I'm not entirely sure, but I think we do. We need to use the Shine Spark to jump, not to, uh... Hmm. Not to go down, but to go up. Really? Unless you just go through the wall or something stupid, no? There's seriously not a thing here? I might be missing something. I might be missing something seriously simple and I'm just not realizing it. No? What the heck? Alright, I'm just gonna go down there again and see if I miss something. Ah, I did miss something. You can go through the wall. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Talk about missing. You can go through the wall. Should have known better. Lock disengaged. Hey, guys! Long time no see. Y'all remember these guys? If you don't... Let me introduce you. These are the guys that introduce you how to wall kick and how to do the speed boost and the shine spark jump in uh, Super Metroid. Like, if you didn't figure it out, they would teach you. Like, you just do this. And also the wall kicks. Those little monkey looking dudes. Anyway. So. I'm gonna save again just because I can. We rescued the survivors, but they weren't people. They're animals. So, we'll see. We'll see if they, uh... If we can rescue them. Etikuns and Deshoras. I've been met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet again here. In the past, they helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. But where do they run to? I hope they're safe. Yep. Teach you how to wall kick. How to kick climb. Always check the stupid walls. There's never anything there, though. <laughs> I always have that check. I don't know why I'm that kind of guy. It's like double check, triple check, make sure we get it. Uh, okay, navigation room. It's down here. I'll talk to this dude. Say, what's up, dude? He locked the stupid door, of course. Why wouldn't he lock the door? So, the survivors were not human. We cannot confirm the deaths of all crew members, really. I imagine this was the case, but I hope it wasn't. I believe the X only infected the humans for knowledge. Yeah, because humans are pretty weak, huh? They were merely food. They just ate us. Ate the humans. I think they're evolving. Growing stronger. Some are now appearing that resist recurring weapons. They sent the power bomb data. 
Okay. Sure. Download it immediately. This one in Sector 5 arc. Okay, I'll head down to Sector 5. If you want me to. Get the power bomb. The power bombs! Uh, God. I always check the map in this area. I don't know why. It's because we never come back here that often. You know? <laughs> like, I gotta make sure I'm going the right way. Alright, here we go. Oops. <laughs> Doors is shut in your face. We've been wondering what I'm doing. Well, getting this. And I think, actually, uh, down here, we could have actually it got fucking actuallys, man. <laughs> we could have got something else, but I don't think we were able to get to it yet anyway. Get another, uh, like, missile tank or something. Using the speed boost. Hmm, Sector 5 it is. We just, we were there a little while ago. Before the emergency in Sector 3 happened. I'm always wondering if there's anything up there. It never is. There's sections in this game that you have to use Shine Sparks to get to. That are pretty hidden and I just don't remember where they're at. So, that's why I keep trying that stuff. You've been to this data room before, but I'll show you its location. It's over there. Yep. Now move out. Autobots, roll out! Yep, I'm gonna save. Okay, cool, cool. And we don't really need a recharge, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Ow. I hate you. These are like my least favorite enemies, man. They're just so annoying. Oh yeah, those and the stupid guys that... These freaking floaty guys. Anyway, we can go in here now. It's just a room full of crap. Uh... No. Guess you go up. Yep, there you go. Missile tank! Sweet. I uh, can't do anything about this guy, though, because we don't have power bombs. Uh, targets over there. This guy's still mad in the background. Not gonna worry about him. Just pretend he don't exist. Just pretend he's not just some giant floating shadow in the background making all this noise. And freak people out. Alright. Uh, here. Data room. 